Hi everyone, Elisa Joyous42 here. Hope everyone is doing well today. We are nearing the end of the week. We are at the end of the week. What am I saying? So I just wanted to touch on Spice and Erica Mena for a minute. I'm not defending anybody, anybody, because it's reality TV. And a lot of times we don't know what's real from what's not real. But we still we're 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 fascinated by it. We're 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 pulled in. I'll talk about that all the time, but yet I still get pulled in. And I'm okay with acknowledging that. So my thing is though, the whatever issue Spice and Erica Mina are having, have it. The only, only, only thing that kind of was like, no, don't do it, Spice, because you know, you you look at people, you look at people and you tend to have a different expectation for them, even though we shouldn't, but I'm giving my truth. And certain things I wouldn't expect for Spice to say, however, however, we don't know what the beginning was. We're just seeing this part, Erica was quiet, but we don't know how it started. We don't know what went on behind the scenes. So I always try and keep that in mind. I'm always going to struggle with these types of insults against women. This is me personally. You guys may feel differently, and I'll actually be open to, to hearing that. So please comment, um, if, you, if you will. Um talking about someone's sexuality, how many people they've been with, that's corny for me. Um, it just is. Uh, talking about whether or not they screwed their whole city, state, or whatever, I think it's corny. Um, but women will never let that go. They will easily come at another woman about that. And okay, fine. The other one is talking about the fact that they don't have a man, I feel like that's corny too, only because you're, it's almost like I, this, I can insult you this way because you're less than because you don't have a man. <sighs> We've heard that so many times and it's corny to me, just to me. The other thing is saying someone deserve and got what they deserve and karma. I've heard that before and I heard Spice, and Spice said that to Erica. That one's corny too. Doesn't mean that Spice is corny, but what came out her mouth, what she decided to type to me was corny as far as that being her karma. Only because she didn't go after Safari. Safari came after her. Came after her hard. We saw that. Now, again, there's things that can go on that we may not be aware of. So maybe there's some underlying something with Safari and Erica Mina that I'm not privy to. And it would make sense. We're not supposed to know every single thing. But what we did see, what my eyes saw, was him pursuing her. And him supposedly, allegedly not being a adequate father, uh, a present father, and wasn't from day one, allegedly. I don't know how that would be karma and we would celebrate that. Um, I look at karma as what you do unto others, it will come back to you. So I'm trying to figure out who at what point did we see Mina in a relationship with that she completely dogged out, had kids with or whatever, you know, even if kids weren't involved. And we're like, okay, girl, the way you treated him, and in her case, the way you treated her, that's going to come back to you. That's going to come back to you tenfold. Um, I could have sworn when she was in New York, she got dogged out. Her and Sin, that was something different. But everybody else that she was with, I thought that she got dogged out. And without even going all into that, diving into that any further there's just something that's just eerily like mm, to say that someone who had kids with someone who's married um and them turning their back on their kids allegedly 
cheating from day one, allegedly. You know, there's something eerily scary, the fact that women would celebrate that happening to another woman. Um, it's unsettling to me. This stuff is supposed to be funny and entertaining. It started out that way. Yeah, were a couple characters, a couple people who definitely kicked it up a notch right away. But it definitely started out, it was funny. It was, it's just, oof, it's deep. <laughs> and on top of that, we don't know what's real from not real. As I'm sitting here talking about this, for all, for all I know, this could be a made up beef to garner the attention for the fact that the show is about to come on. And it looks like on a different network, if I'm not mistaken, MTV. So, I don't know. But I've seen that before up close and personal. Women calling other women out and insulting them for not having a man. For their man leaving them. Leaving them destitute. Whatever the case may be. And that's weird. Or how many sexual partners she's had. That's weird. Because you left the dude out. He was fooling with somebody too, right? But it's easy to shame women because that's what society historically has done. So it's easy for women to jump on that when they have an insult towards another woman. Mm, it's just corny. But that's me. It's just corny. Um, I don't know. I still watch these shows because outside of some corny reads here and there, it there's so much to learn from them as I stated why I wanted to review the shows because there's so much to learn. You learn what not to do, whether you have money or not. You learn what to share and not to share because you've seen it so many times within your personal life and on these shows and you're like, Oh, this mess is consistently happening. It's happening to them. They're just in a different tax bracket than me. But they're going through the same thing. Mental illness, struggles with family members, boundary issues, domestic issues. So many things. So many things. And in between, we get some laughter. And in between, we get some ha-ha. We get some music. I, what happened to that? Can we get back to the music? Can we get back to the music? I was so disappointed when I saw certain people, they just didn't take off with their music and I thought they had something. But again, we don't know what goes behind the scenes. So I just wanted to share that real, real quick. Um, there's more videos that I definitely would like to share. I would like to talk about um, what I've been going through spiritually and how things been for me. Um, it may or may not resonate with some of you, um, but it's something I wouldn't mind getting off my chest if you're open to it. Thank you. I hope you have a great rest of your day, weekend to come, and um, stay blessed and smile and laugh. We need more smiling and laughter because, my goodness, it is going down all day, every day. And um, I don't know about y'all, but I need this. I need this outlet. So even if two of you take the time to listen to me, I'm so appreciative. 30 of you, 100 of you, I'm so appreciative. I'm appreciative to it all. I'm appreciative to the subscribers that I have thus far. Because I know I'm not up here every day. <laughs> I'm not up here every day. Um, I'm still getting the hang of it. But I thank you. And I'm humbled by those that choose to take the time to listen. Alright. Stay blessed. And smile and laugh. Find something to smile and laugh. Turn on Mary. Turn on who you, who you need to turn on to. To get you through the day. Alright. Elisa Joy is 42. Out. Thank you again.